Well, hello, Pythonistas on YouTube and Internet. Welcome to another Python wedge scraping tutorial. And today we are going to talk about a subject that we have already talked about in another video tutorial series. Uh, we are going to talk about the Twitter API, and I would highly recommend you guys to go to my YouTube channel, look for the playlists, and go and find the mining data from Twitter with Python and you should have the num from mining with Twitter with Python from one up till four I think it's a in in one of them I think it's a number one or number two two where we do the complete setup of how to do the environments from from command line and setting up your application so definitely check those videos out because lots of the details I will just mention, not go uh, uh, through thoroughly. So let's get into the Twitter API as a recap. So Twitter is notoriously protective of its API and rightfully so with over 230 million active users and a revenue of over $100 million a month. The company is hesitant to let just anyone come along and have any data they want. To, uh, Twitter's rate limit uh, limits the number of calls uh, it allows each user to make. It, it, it falls into two categories. It's uh, 15 calls per 15 minute period and 180 calls per 15 minute period. This is at the time of recording this uh, uh, video and this rate limits depends on the type of call you want to make for instance you can make up to 12 calls a minute to retrieve basic information about twitter users but only one call a minute to retrieve lists of those users twitter followers so getting started again i highly recommend that you check out the other videos on the, on, on the other video tutorials i made on twitter so uh, in addition to rate limiting twitter has a more complicated authorization system than uh, than do other apis such as the discogs uh, api that we played with in the last video both for obtaining api keys and for using those keys it's a little more complicated with twitter so in order to obtain an API key, you will, of course, need a Twitter account. You can create one relatively painlessly on the sign-up page of Twitter. In addition, you need to register a new application with Twitter on its developer site, which I have here. These are my applications for testing out stuff. So, and after when you have, when you have registered uh, the application you will be taken to a page containing your basic application information i'm not going to show you all the details of my keys etc so i'm just going to talk you through it but i explained it in the other video so and on when you when you have created your um uh, app you click on the manage keys and access tokens page you will be directed to a page containing further information and that page also contains a button automatically to regenerate your keys should your secret key somehow become public uh, like if you accidentally publish it as a, a tutorial video <laughs> so and uh, let's now try some some uh, examples. Uh, Twitter authentication system, which uses OAuth, is fairly complicated. It's best to wrap it it in one of the readily available libraries rather than try to keep track of track of it yourself. Because of the relative complexity of working with Twitter's API by hand, this section. This tutorial samples will focus on using Python code to interact with the API rather than working with the API itself. And I found this very difficult to work with myself also directly with the API. So having a Python wrapper is uh, can makes uh, developers life much easier. 
as of this writing uh, or making this tutorial there are many python 2x libraries used to interact with twitter but uh, relatively few few 3.x libraries available fortunately one of the best twitter libraries appro appropriately called twitter is available for python 3x so let me get back to the page you can download for this page which is mike.verdon.ca slash twitter slash hashtag development or download actually uh, also but it's very very easy to uh, install this uh, uh, this library only first of all you have to have easy install installed and uh, you just easy in, use easy install and then twitter so how to install easy install the, it's best that you google it depending on which system you are using so after you have uh, downloaded it it's, it's very easy to continue it will give you some options for for what, what you need to do you need to authorize it with your uh, Twitter account so and then you can do lots of stuff from the command line which is pretty cool like what was the last replies for my account what kind of lists do I have made so this is bunch of stuff you can do here so definitely check it out play around with it so uh, let's do some exercises and then we are going to play around with this library now so Twitter credentials and permissions uh, I have explained like I said in the other videos how to to um, put your Twitter credentials in in command line and put it in environment in the in the OS environment and the way you do that is you take all of the credentials that you have on your app and you set the consumer key the four the four keys that you have on your app and you in Windows you do set the Twitter consumer key equal to and then your the value without any quotes or space in between and you do that four times for each of the key keys in Mac I think it's export and it for some reason it this does not work with the uh, VS code so I'm using sublime text for this exercise first we have we I think it's this uh, this is the uh, file that we have. they are very similar that's why it's making some I'm confused by the files but okay uh, so this is the file that we want to script that we want to uh, uh, work with first so in this uh, exercise we search for specific tweets the following code connects to the Twitter API and prints a JSON list of tweets containing the hashtag Python and remember to place the strings in the OAuth line So you just put it like this and it this collects it from the command line uh, from CMD your OS environment. So if we test this out so we will get the tweets with hashtag Python and although the output of this script might be overwhelming keep in mind that you're getting a lot of information per tweet the date and time the tweet was made details about any retweets or favorites and details about the user's account and profile image etc although you might be looking for just a subset of this data the Twitter API was designed for web developer developers who want to display the tweets proceed through the API on their own websites so there's a lots of extra stuff stuff involved 
and it, we can see an example output of a single tweet when making a status update through the API if we want to make a status update. So it's uh, almost the same, uh, sta same uh, code, it's just that we have a status update variable which is we are using the statuses update method. So if I run this script and uh, you should see that my just refresh this you see that this this is the tweet from yesterday of the uh, Python web scripting tutorial number 16 that what I made yesterday published yesterday so if I run this script It also prints out quite a lot of information and it should post a tweet here now. Sometimes it just takes some time. So I just had to refresh the page. It to, took some time before it tweeted out, <coughs> made a status update. So we can see it's uh, tweeting. So I'll just delete this tweet. And so this is the result of sending one tweet which is quite quite a bit of information and some maybe Twitter limits access uh, to its API because of the bandwidth required to respond to every request maybe that's why it is for any request that retrieves a list of tweets you can limit the number of tweets received by specifying a count variable so if we just Common this out and we use this one. I will purchase Sublime Text someday soon. So what what this um, in this case we are asking for the last five tweets. Uh, that were posted to uh, Monty Python's timeline. In this case, any retweets they have made also. Although these three examples that I have shown you guys, uh, searching for tweets, retrieving the tweets for, for a specific user and posting your own tweets, cover a great deal of what most people do with tw uh, Twitter API. The capabilities of the Twitter Python library are far more numerous. You can search and manipulate Twitter lists, follow and unfollow users, and also look up profile information for users and more. And you definitely should check out the complete um, documentation that you can click from this page if you go to development and github page for twitter tools and you will get here here you have all the examples they're showing how you can use it so definitely check out this api and also this cl client which is small but very useful i found it, this to be fun to work with than tweepy for some reason i don't know why but that's the case so this is it for this video guys Hope you have enjoyed it and if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button give me a thumbs up share comment do everything you like so you can support me please so hope to see you in the next video okay bye guys